Hi everybody, this is Andreas from the homestead. Today we are going to cook some delicious elk stew. We take out our meat and begin to cut the meat into smaller pieces. So this is my best recipe for cooking elk. But it's always interesting to learn how others do. So please tell me in the comments how you would like to cook your elk. When we are done with all the cutting, we prepare to fry the meat really fast in a cast iron pan so we can contain the yumminess of the meat. While we wait for the butter to melt in the pan, we take out some carrots and onions and peel them. Now when the pan is hot, we put in the meat. It's important that we don't put in too much at a time, otherwise the meat will boil instead of getting a surface. We put all the meat into the pot and also add some juniper. Ok, back to the carrots and onions. We cut them into small pieces. And then we put them in the hot pan. After that we take some thyme and chop it so we get all of the fantastic flavors out of it. Then we add it to the pan and give it a stir. We take some good red wine to give the stew a round nice taste to it. We let it cook for a little while and then we add all of the vegetables to the pot. Before we start to boil the meat we add just enough water so that all the meat will be submerged. And if you ain't got enough water you can fill it up with some more red wine. We add salt, black pepper, soy sauce and some blackcurrant jelly. Now it got to cook for about two hours. When it's about 30 minutes left, we peel the potatoes for the incredible good mashed potatoes. I use a potato that easily falls apart when you cook them. I cut the potatoes into smaller pieces so that they boil much faster. And then we add some water and boil them. To the elk stew we will have some cooked carrots and some sugar snaps. Now when the meat have been cooking for about two hours we take the meat out of the pot so we can make the sauce. We add some cream and let it boil down a bit until it gets all thick and creamy. Then we add the meat again. And some yellow chanterelles. Mm -hmm. 
Meanwhile, the potatoes are done and we drain the potatoes. And mash them with a beater. And add some butter, some cream, salt and pepper. And there we have it, elk stew, with jello chanterelles, mashed potatoes, carrots, sugar snaps and some black currant jelly. This is my idea of a good healthy meal. See you all and don't forget to comment. Are you going to try this or do you got an even more awesome recipe? Please share it with us. Hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe to get notified when I release the next video.